بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome to MSY Academy in the third session as part of English vocabulary development Today 10 more words in the category of nouns associated with different type of persons showing their labels of personality Firstly the words are going to be pronounced and their meanings explained and then they are going to be explained in the context with certain examples for efl learners to grasp their meanings and use them effectively what label fits your personality from 10 words psychology makes it clear that loving and being loved are important in emotional health also points out the necessary for expressing rather than repressing our hostilities it is a mark of your own emotional maturity if you can accept hostility as well as dish it out so let us pretend by getting personally involved in the introductory 10 words of today's vocabulary session martinet slave driver blind obedience epitome of drill sergeant martinet as a person who tries to make everyone to the line it is an exact blind and unquestioning obedience he expects strict conformity to rules uh, however arbitrary or tyrannical and uh, he will not tolerate the slightest deviation from his rules like the military dictators and uh, similar people like others uh, they do not uh, tolerate if their line is not told uh, in short actually it is a very epitome of the army drill sergeant so when somebody says you are a martinet it means a sort of dictator a sort of a person who expects to tow his line and not to have a very slightest independent opinion psychophant boot licker hypocrite curry favor at the opportune moment psychophant is a person who toadies to reach our influential people mean trying to make them happy he caters the vanity and flatters the ego of the others and apart from this he is a complete hypocrite all his servile attention and uneasy adulation spring from his own selfish desires to get ahead not out of any sincere admiration he cultivates people of power or property so that he can get favor at the opportune moment dilettanti or dilettanti dabbler pursuing fine arts painting writing sculpturing composing etc without rewards dilettanti it is a person of independent income and he engages superficially in the pursuit of one's fine art uh painting writing sculpturing composing and he does this uh, largely for his own amusement not to achieve any professional competence nor is he at all interested in monetary rewards no financial uh, rewards his artistic attempts are simply a means of passing time pleasantly virago virago battle axe virago battle axe loud mouthed shrewish turbulent woman aggressive sharp tongued fiery 
virago. Uh, it is often associated with women. Uh, she is a loud mouth, a uh, shrewish, turbulent woman, and she is quarrelsome, aggressive, possessing none of those gentle and tender qualities stereotypically associated with femininity. She is strong-minded, unyielding, sharp-tongued, very inflammable lady. It is very hard uh, for her uh, to keep the balance in her relationship with her husband. Chauvinist, super patriot, exaggeratedly, aggressively, absurdly and excessively devoted to your own affiliation. A chauvinist is a person anything he owns or belongs to is better simply because he owns it or belongs to it although he will be quick to find more justifiable explanations his religion whatever it may be is far superior his political leader is the only honest one members of his own a family are more intelligent, more worth, and more emotionally secure, and in every way far better than the people of others. In short, he is an exaggeratedly, aggressively, absurdly, and excessively devoted to his own affiliation. Monomaniac, fanatic, single track mind absurdly possessive, inclusive zeal for one thing, son, wife, daughter, profession, job, etc. In between monomaniac and chauvinist, there is a thin line. Monomaniac, he has a one-track mind and he is always uh, praiseworthy of what he likes or he does. It may be his business, his profession, her husband, his wife, her or his children. Iconoclast, innovator, attacker, violently against established beliefs, cherished customs, revered traditions, etc. Iconoclast, he is violently against established beliefs, revered traditions, cherished customs, and he stands in the way of reform and progress. And his ideas are based on superstition and irrationality, uh, means without having any knowledge his own whispers are his thoughts, which may be the whispering one, he likes them. And all these traditions, beliefs may belong to any religion, family, marriage, ethics. In short, he is not going to conform or to follow simply because most unthinking people do. Atheist, skeptic, absolute disbelief, in existence of God. Atheist, he believes that there is no God and that is his position and he is not going to budge from it. Lecher, self-indulger, as male, lascivious, lustful, lewd, wanton, immoral, word lecher is associated with male and he is as a male lascivious lustful lewd wanton immoral he promiscuously attempts to satisfy his own illegitimate desires or sexual desires with any woman within his arms reach hypochondriac warrior worried about an illness, merely on a symptom of health issue. Hypochondriac is a person who always remains sick. Although all the tests and, and medical reports are very clear about him, 
but still he is suspicious a slight symptom of illness or of anything coughing uh, feeling some pain in stomach he believes that he has fallen the victim of that deadly disease so under this impression he is much worried so it is hard for anyone to appease uh, from his uh, mental disorder for such a habit he keeps on traveling from doctor to doctor futilely seeking confirmation of his imminent death he becomes more and more convinced that he is too weak to go on much longer perhaps sometimes he thinks that he is very close to death